In this video, we see how capable this little crawler is and then make it FPV. Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars by selling on eBay and I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So I'll just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that nine till five and you wanna make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. Guys, in this video, I've got a brand new rock crawler to play with. And this one could be broken. <laughs> the best compromise, let me explain. So I've got a couple of these indoor ones. This one here is a tiny little thing. That's what she said. Uh, this one's handy for going around on your desk, but it is a little bit small and it's gonna get stuck. That's what she said. When you kind of build like your kind of indoor crawler track. Next. We have this one here, and this one here, although this one is probably most ideal for something indoors, something in the winter, playing in your living room, uh, it's a little bit small for outdoors. That's what she said. And then coming on to the outdoor ones, I've got my Traxxas TRX4, and this beast here, and although they're ideal for outdoors, indoors, uh, they're just way too big. But how about having something that sort of fits in the middle, something that you can use indoors? but it's also going to be usable outdoors. And I think this one might be it. So the smallest one here is 135th scale. The next one up is 124th scale. These two here are 1 tenth scales, although this one here is a very big 1 tenth scale. And my new one is 1 18th scale. By the way, if you want to see a review of both of these, I'm going to put a link up here. And if you want to know more details and where you can buy them from, I'm going to put a link down below. Anyway, enough waffling, let's crack it open. Subscribe. Check it out, guys. So looking underneath, we've got two solid live axles just on a real 4x4. It's also got a metal ladder frame chassis and four-link suspension. All right, let's get that body off and have a little look what's inside. So we have a chassis-mounted servo, which is very nice because sometimes manufacturers mount it on top of the axles, like they do on this one here, and the servo kind of moves with it and it uh, just doesn't look that realistic really. We've got most of the gubbins all mounted up front and a lot of people into rock crawling like that because it makes it better for hill climbs. Uh, moving on to the back, here we have a LiPo battery. So the mechanical parts on this bigger crawler here look almost the same as on this smaller one. So it looks like they are running the same axles, the same centre section, Transmissions look the same, but the control board does look different. This one here has got one of these kind of five wire servo plugs, and this one here looks like it's got the more kind of generic servo plug. So although they look similar, um, internally maybe they're different, and we're going to find out in a minute. Also, this is FPV ready. The same is on this smaller one here. So although it does not come with the camera, it is easy to install one. So all I've done is made a hole in the windshield there, and glued the camera in. Now I've got another camera here, and I'm gonna put links to all of this stuff down below if you're interested where to get it from, and also if you wanna know any more of the techno babble. So here's a little bit more techno babble here, but anyway, I'm gonna put all of that lot down below. So this comes with everything you need to get it to run. So you get the car, battery, charger, radio, but you do need to supply your own batteries, and it runs on four AAAs. So to charge it up, you plug that into there, although, I'm not sure if I would fully trust it. This is a two cell LiPo and it has a balance plug. And when we look at this balance plug here, it's only got the two outer poles. I don't know if you can see that. So that means that this charger is not gonna balance this LiPo, which if one of the cells go dead, that means it's gonna overcharge the other cell, which means there might be a fire. So you wanna charge it up at 0.6 amps maximum. And this charger here is gonna do it perfectly. <laughs> All right, batteries charged, all plugged in. <laughs> wow, that servo is seriously fast. All right, let's try it out. Look at that, guys. We've got headlights and taillights. So I've just built a quick track, so we've just got to come up here, over there, 
over this lot here, over that, round there, down there, down there, down there, and down there. I'll quickly try it out to make sure it's doable and it works. So I'm gonna be driving with one hand and then filming with the other. And then once we've done that, we're gonna do a maximum incline test. I've got an angle meter on there. And then we're gonna put in an FPV camera and see if I can do this track FPV. And then we're gonna take it outdoors. But first, let's see if we can do this little track first. Are you ready? So we've got quite a good turning circle on this. And also you can crawl really slowly. Very controlled, so there's a tiny bit of power. We can go slowly, we can go fast. Over the XO1, down the bonnet. And now we come up to our little decline. Now I have noticed there is quite a lot of overhang sticking out the back and this does get caught sometimes but if you have a look underneath it is all bumper so you could easily cut the bumper down, move it further in and then maybe try and fit some different bodies. So next let's see how steep this thing can climb. So we're going to start off at 45 degrees and then we're going to see if we can do more. So there you go, look the bottom's already touched the floor. Ah but it does that easily. More steepness, let's try 48. Oh, still doing it. I think 50 could be, uh, I don't know, it's gonna be close. Oh, still doing it. I think that's about the limit though, guys. Yeah, I think that's the limit. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, it can just do it. This body shell is quite top heavy with that wheel on the back. So now I want to take the body off and to see how steep it can climb without the body. And I'm guessing it's going to go a lot steeper. Ah, oh, look at that, easy. All right, a little bit more. Oh, look, and it's still doing it. 57 degrees and it's still doing it. By the way, guys, it's got loads more power. I'm just doing it a little bit because if I was to nail it, it would just flip backwards. I'm only giving it a tiny little bit. Just to crawl. You know, if I went full, it would just go like that. Plenty of power. Let's go a little bit more. I reckon 58 is going to be its maximum. Oh, all right, that's its maximum. So next, let's try it outside. But before that, let's see who's going to get triggered. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, nearly crashed. Oh look, we're stuck on a tree.
All right, so I can see now why this one here is more expensive than this one. At first, I thought it was pretty much the same thing, just a longer chassis and different wheels and different body, but it is actually quite different. This one runs on a two cell LiPo, this one here only on a one cell. The servo on this one is much faster and has much more torque and it's got a completely different speed controller. So next, let's make it FPV. So to make it FPV, it's already got the cable here cable tied to the chassis so all you need to do is get yourself an fpv camera this one here is dirt cheap it's like around about 15 dollars something like that i'm going to put a link to this camera down below so all you do you plug that into there and then all you need is like either a monitor or a pair of goggles so i've got this monitor here this is dirt cheap as well i think it's about 25 dollars i'm going to put a link to this down below too so to mount it all i need to do is put a hole in the windshield or you could mount it anywhere you like you know some people like to mount it right at the front uh, i kind of like to mount it in where the window is so it's a little bit more of a realistic driving experience <laughs> Now when you come to plug in this wire in here, make sure you plug it in the right way around. So positive to positive, negative to negative. If you get it the wrong way around, uh, then you might burn it out like I did the first time I did it. So I did it slightly, a little bit differently on this one. I put a little hole on top for the aerial to come out on this one here. I kind of folded it to its side, uh, but doing it this way, it makes the range worse. If you want to go be able to get further away and have it poking up. All right, so I've got the FPV all set up. So this is the monitor that I'm going to put a link to down below. And here we have a cell phone, smartphone with this module here. So you can see the FPV, whatever this sees here, look, you can see it through both devices there, look. So I'm going to put a link to that down below, also a link to that down below, also a link to the camera down below. Uh, so I'm going to watch it on this and I'm going to record it with this device so you can see both views. And to record, all I've got to do is press that button there and that is it, we're filming. Oh, Alright, so I'm not looking at the car, have a little quick little drive around in the workshop, see what's going on in there. Straight over that, not messing about. I don't think it's going to fit under there. The smaller one did. I don't think this one will. No, we're stuck. All right, so let's bring it back in and let's see if I can do a little crawler track. All right, here we go on the first obstacle. And we're off, I've not tried it. This is first time trying. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. Well. It's not first time trying, but it's first time trying on FPV. What have we got in the way here? What's, what, what's going on here? That wasn't there earlier. Hmm? Huh? Hold on, what's happened? Ah, hold on, hold on. I'm attacking the wrong part of the track. Okay, here we go, let's get lined up. over the keyboard. It's difficult to see exactly where your wheels are when you like this. It's a bit of a guessing game, just like in real life. Oh, now all I can see is ceiling. Onto the X01, off the bonnet. And now I've got to make it down this ramp here. And for this, I might have to cheat because I can't actually see where it is. I don't know where it is. Is it there? Really slowly. Very slowly, I'm guessing where it is. Oh, oh, good guess as well. There we are, down here. <laughs> I've only gone and done it, haven't I? What? This is first time doing an FPV. <laughs> yes, I did it. <laughs> Footage. Guys, all in all, I'm pretty chuffed with this. Uh oh, uh oh.
<laughs> oh look, there's a real one down there. So guys, all in all, I'm pretty chuffed with that. I mean, it's pretty capable. It gets over most things. And it's just gonna be a cool toy just to have around in the winter when, the, when it's all cold outside and wet and miserable. Uh, we can build little tracks in here uh, at home and have some family fun and friend fun and even some alone fun. Oh guys, I really do need to sort out this spaghetti junction. So anyway guys, if you like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. Give us a thumbs down if you suck. I'm gonna put a link to all the stuff down below that we played with today and I'll see you over in one of these other videos. All right guys, see you in a minute.